Hi, this is Sarah Bryant, and I am here today with Ryan Sandberg to give you a brief overview on your Google Vehicle Ads product. Now, you might know that Google has been piloting vehicle ads, and the whole industry has been very excited about the Alpha Pilot, which is wrapping up now, and Google just announced its public beta. And so some things are still manual with the program, and there are a lot of integrations that happen on the back end. So we're going to take you through what to expect in your vehicle ads onboarding call and how the program works, a little bit of a process overview. So here's the agenda for today. We're going to go through a little bit of information, just the verification of, of all your account information and some disclaimers about the program, some questions and answers. We're going to show you the status sheet that we use uh, along with our DBA platform to keep you informed of the status of all your locations. We'll talk about the, the phases of vehicle ads in detail and then the next steps for getting your ads actually launched. Uh, so Ryan Sandberg is actually uh, the guy who, who worked manually through the initial pilot with Google. He knows how all of the moving parts work and he's going to take us through some more information about the program. Perfect. Awesome. Well, before we jump in, we just want to verify some information here. So um, I'm sure I'll get your agency name sh soon and the number of locations, but this next one here, uh, we just want to make sure that you are on cars for sale through DBA platform, because to do vehicle listing at uh, vehicle ads, you need uh, to be on cars for sale through DBA. So that's like one of the very first steps that you want to make sure you have checked off. Yeah, it's how we get the inventory feed today. Correct, correct. Um, and then we just want to make sure that you uh, are comfortable with adding a DBA platform to a Google Ads account. Um, that's how we're going to get your inventory to your ads account so you can uh, create the campaigns and manage the campaigns. Um, also, uh, this is for the Google business page portion. We just need the email that has uh, uh, the email contact that has access to the Google business page. All we need is the email address. Password is not required. Um, the next step is you have to be able to verify a website via one of the following options below. We do recommend uh, HTML tag as that is the simplest and easiest process to do. Uh, but you can do tag manager or analytics. Uh, and then the last thing is able to add conversion pixel to website. So basically just those two things are just adding code to the website, making sure you can do that uh, for your client. Yep, to make all the connections, to make the vehicle ads work with the inventory, there's just some back end connections. And so when you come to your live onboarding call, you'll be asked about all those things. So if you wanna gather them in advance or add them to the spreadsheet as you get new locations, that'd be great. Yep. Absolutely. Um, this is going to be a brief overview, overview of vehicle ads. So what is vehicle ads? Um, they're performance focused, lower funnel ad format, which enables, uh, you know, auto advertisers to promote their inventory on, on Google search. Um, who's doing it? Uh, it's, it's still in beta. Um, so it, it's still pretty early. Um, not too many people are doing it at this moment, especially, you know, single dealers. So it's a good time to get your uh, locations on it. Um, on the right there, the results, that's just a little snippet of what it looks like on mobile. Um, later on in the presentation, we do have a, another uh, image that shows what it looks like. Um, when did it start? Uh, it kicked off uh, in 2021, and it's still in early stages of development. Uh, why DBA Platform? Um, DBA Platform is a trusted Google partner. We've worked side by side with them. Um, since this has begun, so we have able we have been able to really kind of work through this process, make it a little bit more automated um, and streamlined. So this slide here is showing that everything, uh, how everything is connected. These are key parts in how we're going to get your vehicles live on Google. It's the Google Merchant Center, Google Ads account, website verification, conversion tracking, and the Google Business Profile. Here are the whys and hows of how, how all that is going to happen. So Merchant Center is created by us. You do not have to worry about anything in Merchant Center. Um, the why is because we need Merchant Center because that's going to enable the VA program and accept the feed. Um, the how is the VA platform creates it. Um, the Google business profile, the why is the location's identity. It's the location's identity and sets the geo radius of the ads. Um, 
how we're getting access to the Google business profile is you're providing an email address with manager identity. Google ads account, the why is that's what well, you're going to manage and create uh, the VA campaign. All you need to do is uh, give us the Google ads ID and then we request access and you approve. Website verification. We need that to happen uh, because Merchant Center actually requires it. So whether you go through us or anyone else, we do need a website verification to happen. And that's just the proof of website ownership and, and the right to promote goods. How? HTML tag, Google Tag Manager, or Google Analytics. Again, we do recommend HTML tag. Uh, conversion tracking. Uh, the VA pilot requires a conversion method for optimization. And the how is we're going to get a pixel on the website and all VDPs to count traffic from vehicle ads. This next slide here is a good overview of the, the whole process. So, you know, when someone says, oh, well, can I get it going in, you know, a couple of days or, you know, is it just a snap of a finger? Uh, no, there is a lot to, that goes on in this process in the back end, as far as a lot of linking, a lot of setup in the back end, a lot of manual steps. So uh, this is just to, to show you that uh, what it looks like as a whole. Here are the phases uh, and, and the timeline of, of how vehicle ads works through DBA. The first phase is phase red, and then phase orange, phase yellow, phase blue, phase green. Phase red is actions for you, and then phase orange is actions for DBA. Phase yellow is feed verification. Phase blue is you're ready to create your ads, and then phase green, the ads are serving and you're live. Yep, absolutely. Here's phase red in a little bit more detail. Uh, so we need website verification to happen, like we talked about before, HTML tag, tag manager analytics. And then we need uh, to make sure that we get access to the Google business page. And then we need to make sure that we have access to your Google ads account. And we need to make sure that the conversions are set up. Once all of that happens, we'll then move into phase orange. And that's where DBA platform is going to be in progress. We're going to set up the merchant center. We're going to make sure everything's linked with everything you just provided us in phase red. And then once we get everything linked in the program set up, we're going to then go into phase yellow, which is feed verification and troubleshooting. This is where Google is going to check the feed, make sure everything's good. If the feed is good, we move into phase blue. If the feed is having errors or there's an issue with cars for sale or, or there's an issue there, it could delay the process, but this is where we're going to troubleshoot it and find out. Once we then get your feed verified, you're going to go into phase blue. And now this is where you're going to set up the VA campaign. This is where you're going to set up the budget uh, and set up the smart shopping campaign. It's super easy. We do have documentation on it that we will give you as well. Um, and then once you, you set up that campaign and the ads start to serve, you are then live and you're in phase green. This is where you're going to monitor your, your budget, monitor the campaign, make sure the ads continue to serve, conversions are recorded, um, and stuff continue on here. The beta disclaimer and image policy. Uh, this beta disclaimer is is basically just saying, hey, look, you're in a green acknowledging that you're in a beta with Google. So things could change, things could break. Um, and this is just keeping that in mind. Yep, we haven't had many problems, but we have had um, kind of expansion of features. When the pilot began, it was for used cars only, and then it expanded to yeah. new cars. It'll expand, you know, again, maybe, you know, RVs and motorcycles. And uh, so as the test progresses, uh, you know, probably more expansion of the program, more functionality. Yep, absolutely. This slide is image specifications. Right now we're getting the feed through cars for sale. So this is kind of just a nice to have um, just to keep in mind maybe in the future. But but for right now, uh, the images all should be specced out and good to go. This slide is a very uh, interesting slide uh, because this is Google's official policy right now. And this is uh, their image disapproval policy. And, and right now they, they do not allow overlays or watermarks. Um, I know a lot of dealers have that, but I would like to say uh, that, that a lot of uh, car dealerships are sending us images with overlays and they are going through. Um, so this isn't to say that uh, if you do send us images with overlays, they're going to like automatically get it dis disapproved, but we do have to relay this communication to you. Um, well, and I think I think Google's take on it is um, dealerships have, you know, watermarks and logos on their images and those images were taken, you know, in the past. And so it's really hard to change them. So they're kind of I think they're giving a little leeway in this period. But going forward, 
they expect the images to be done in a particular way, you'll have the documentation for that, and you can maybe begin to start using the correct angles, backgrounds, and things that Google's asking for, because ultimately, they will disapprove photos that don't comply with the policy. Yep, correct. And if you have any, you know, if you want more further clarification or questions on this slide and image disapproval policy specifically, uh, we'd be happy to go over that in, in our in our meeting. So these are some examples. Um, and if you look like like a, a, especially on the right, the new arrival image, that is that is not going to serve. Google will disapprove that. Um, and and right now, the two images, the one in the middle and the left. It is up to Google AI, Google's AI, if they catch it. So it, it, we really just want to make sure that you are adhering to Google's policy with with the overlays. Well, and even background images, you can see that that yep. photo on the left. You know, there is a a little bit of a overlay, but really the photo is taken with the background brand. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's that's also not uh, not not really allowed so there's sort of sort of different uh yeah kind of a scale there of of you know discouragement yeah so these these are discouraged allowed but discouraged uh we just want to make sure that you're, you're kind of it, it's in best interest to stay away from these but they are allowed so like logos or branding in the background cluttered backgrounds rear angles of the car or modification to license license plates stuff like that Here's recommendations in troubleshooting. Uh, best practices for ad accounts. Uh, bare minimum budget, uh, $50 a day. Uh, Google does recommend $100 a day for optimal results. But again, we've seen uh, accounts that have a you know $50 a day budget. They have been able to run and serve just fine. Um, but, but Google is recommending $100 a day for optimal results. We just want to make sure also that the campaign is set up to be a smart shopping campaign uh, because that is going to be the only way it's going to be able to serve and that's the only way the, the vehicle ad program is available so we just want to make sure that you have it set up to be a smart shopping campaign we also want to ensure that the merchant center stays connected to the ad account if it ever gets disconnected then there is going to be some downtime so please don't remove us from the ad account conversion goals set to account level as well for best success, we really, really, this is an important one. Um, the Google business page store code must remain the same. That is located in the info section of your Google business profile. And what that is, is that is for like software purposes, really, and like inventory purposes. And that is that is Google linking the feed to your Google business profile. We really want to make sure that that doesn't change. Don't, don't have you change it or the dealers ch change it if that does happen the feed will go down for a minimum of you know three three to five days so we just want to make sure that we keep that the same if you don't have a google business or if you don't have a store code we will input a six digit like numerical number um, and if you do see that pop up don't be alarmed don't be you know just tell the client hey you're going to see a store code please just leave it be and then we also want to make sure that cars for sale, you know, stays uh, live through DBA. It's accurately set up. You're the provider, and DBA is the host. Here's another uh, example of what the ads will look like on on desktop. Um, a lot of people say, well, you know, how do I get my how do I get my car, you know, all the way to the left? I want it to be coming up first. Um, well, the best the best answer to that really, I, I think, is budget. I, I think Google is. Is going to use the budget to, to really determine that but then again i don't have a definitive answer um, from from what we've seen 